okay now uh, let us see how we can plot control charts using mini tab uh, we know that there are different types of control charts which include x bar and r charts x bar and s charts and x bar charts okay so we can plot uh, all these uh, different types of control charts using mini tab either we can use uh, this shortcut to plot either of these x bar r x bar s or x bar control charts or we can go to statistics and go to control charts continuous data and select one of these from here so in order to demonstrate i have selected this example for you so in this example it says that a hard bake process is used in conjunction with photolithography in a semiconductor manufacturing okay this is a photolithography is a process uh, which takes place in the semiconductor manufacturing so we wish to establish statistical control of the flow width means that they want to uh, establish a control chart okay uh, for the resist process using x bar and r chart so this is x bar so x bar and r charts 25 samples each of size 5 wafers have been taken when we think the process is in control so uh, in order to establish uh, a control chart uh, they took 25 samples in each sample they made measurements on five wafers okay they uh, selected five wafers and made the measurement of the width on those okay so means that there are 25 samples and each side each sample has five uh, measurements okay and this was done when they thought that the process is in control okay so the interval of the time between the samples or subgroups is one hour okay means that they select when they selected 25 samples so each sample was uh, collected every hour okay so samples or subgroups are one hour so you know that the x-axis of the control chart is either uh, the time sequence or the sample number okay so the flow width measurement data in microns from these samples are shown in the table below so these are the samples starting from sample number one until sample number 25 and these are the observations and this is the standard deviation for each uh, sample okay so this is sample number one and these are the measurements from five wafers in this sample then second sample and third sample and so on right so this is the data but uh, we do not need to copy all the data and put in uh, mini tab we need only these observations okay the data of the samples only right so what we are going to do is we select all of it like this and 25 copy this and we come here and we paste it here so we get all the data here and now we go to control charts x bar and r chart okay so data column so first we need to do uh, check some options if they are uh, correct or not so all subgroups have the same size subgroups means samples so all subgroups have same size yes okay and then we check on the options if there is anything okay data is in multiple columns okay one row for each subgroup means that one sample is in one row you remember that from the previous one let me show you again that one sample is in one row so one sample is in one row which has five columns so because one column uh, co corresponds to one measurement so each sample has five observations or measurements so each row represents one sample there are 25 samples there should be 25 rows okay now we go back to x bar and r chart now we select from here that data is in multiple columns and one row for each subgroup like this so now we select all of them and then press this arrow button it will add all of these columns as the observations okay the all data is in these columns now select ok here you go we get the control charts this is x bar chart and this is r chart now you can see that uh, this is the center line this is the upper control line this is the lower control line these are the subgroups or 
these are the sample numbers okay we can change this uh, name also okay so this is samples or sample number whatever you like to call them and this is if you zoom it in you will see that there is double bar on it so because this was the average of the sample average right so center line is average of the sample average and on the right side this is the r chart r chart has the range so the center line is the average of the range you know how to calculate range right so maximum of the sample minus minimum of the sample we find the range and these are the charts and these are the relevant parameters for that mean is 74.0012 and this is the standard deviation and this is the test if you want you to do the test if we do not want we do not means it is not necessary for us so this is the test which is made on the x bar chart and this is the one on the r chart okay so the data that we need for uh, plotting these graphs is the mean and the standard deviation so this is for x bar actually right so uh, this is exactly the same uh, values you will get when you perform calculations yourself uh, using the formulas that i have uh, shown you in the notes okay so this is very simple you can use mini tab for performing uh, or for for plotting these charts also okay sometimes the data is too many you cannot do it manually in that case you can use mini tab again if you do not understand anything about these you can again go to help it will open a page help page interpreting everything about these okay so what this chart means uh, what are the different values mean okay so it will exp it will help you uh, it will explain to you and then help you to explain your results right so that's all for this